Hey, 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 you guys! Ooh, let's get started! I have a client pick up real fast. I can't wait to see Dee Dee. Give us a second here. Hey, girlfriend. Hey. Were you okay with what I did? Did you just make a picture? No, I didn't do pictures today. Oh. Uh, I just did a, what I mean is like the lower rate. And, oh, yeah, no, yeah. that's fine. Thank um, you. We kind of, I did a full groom, two guard. Uh, I took off like everything's evened up all okay. over. I did very minimal knee movement. Okay. Um, I could see like, boom, like it was just. Yeah. She'll and so like, I was just like, I don't want to touch it. Yeah. So you can see. Her left leg gets tired, she'll just. Right. So I recorded it. Over. It'll go, it'll go on video like next week maybe or something like that. We have editing to do. But you can see where I just really hands off. It yeah. was more like just go around stuff. You can't tell, mm -hmm. but I knew that I would be yeah. really gentle as possible to cause um, any nothing here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But even just moving it one time, I was like, it, you could just see that, oh, oh, this is why I don't want to do this. So the blow dryer, you know, is really strong. Yeah. So it would blow her leg. Like it would be like, oh. you know, so I didn't want, that's why I said, hey, let's skip it today. Because we've never skipped the blow dryer. Yeah. Ever. So um, just do that even. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you. I'll get her out. She's excited. You hear mama? Come here, let's go. Don't jump too hard here now. Oh, you sweetheart. Come on, babies. Come on. Tell a dog not to get excited, Daniel. Here. 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 Oh, Joey. Is that mama? Yeah, she came to get you. She came to get you. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Keep jumping on that leg. Don't jump on the leg. Both Suey and Duke, before they passed away, they both pulled their back. Suey pulled it twice. And I remember Duke, his last Christmas, I had to keep them pinned up. It was just, it was like, it was the saddest man. My mom was like, it's Christmas. And I was like, he, he will hurt himself. And just by being excited, it was just I know. the worst. His last Christmas was the worst, man. And then not very far from there, he passed away. I know, it's tough stuff, so. Well, and when my parents come over, she gets excited. She's about to jump. And right. And then they're not going to not. Yeah, I have to put her away. Yep. Over, yep. Absolutely. So it's worth it. So, we're going to be doing more damage. You know this. Love you, girl. Thank you so much. Love you. Good to see you. Please keep me posted. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys. We're waiting on our schnauzer client. Did you guys read the... What's up, man? What's up, you guys? How you doing? Did you guys read the description of the video yet? How many of you guys read the description? Kind of say, yeah, I did. Say, yeah, I did. You can do the hands up thing like... Zero of you guys read the description? No, David said zero. Okay, hold on here. Okay, there's 62 viewers. How many likes do we have out there? Like, make sure we smash the like button. If you don't know how to find the smash like button, turn off your super chat. Click the X. You can always come back. Don't worry. Just turn your your device sideways or whatnot. Click the X. Smash the like button. Hit share. Send it to your Facebook. Say, hey, you guys, watch it with me and then come back then you hit super chat and then you come back it's it's all real easy we just don't realize what's right in front of our eyeballs okay uh let me keep i'm just going to kind of scan here uh happy wednesday it was a literal first for me oh wait what's callie talking about oh yeah callie told me she got some heat oh gosh right <laughs> okay i'm scanning Click X, hit like, then click chat. Whoop! Thank you, Kaylin. Read the description. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so um, if you're watching the video and you're happy, uh, raise your hand. If you're watching the video and you are in bed, raise your hand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so where are you guys at? What state, what country, what time is it, and what are you doing? Go. You can write it down there. Um, Dude, you sound like a god. I sound like a god? What are you talking about? You have two, two of the mics on, maybe? I sound like a god. Like, I guess it's like, whoa! Yeah. I have I have the... Can you hear me now? There you go. That's better. 
I don't understand, man. Every time I turn around, you start, you change something. You had two mics on, that's why your voice, you know how like a god sounds like. Oh, like. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's how you sound. Germany, it's almost 7 p.m. UK, watching while in bed. Awesome. Los Angeles, California, what's up, LA? Indiana, sitting at my desk with my mini schnauzer. Ooh, so we're about to groom a mini schnauzer. If she brings cookie, cookie, when I was inventing the dog upstand, and I used the dog upstand for like over a year before we started generating it, right? I believe in what I use, and so I wouldn't want to sell you something I don't use, right? Or that I feel like is a waste of money or time. So if I'm like needing something and I invent it, I think I'm telling you, you need this thing. So I use a dog up stand, the small dog up stand. And at the time it, we, it was not a moving saddle. And honestly, I don't even think I need a moving saddle. It's pretty cool that it moves. Okay, here it is. Here's a saddle. It moves like, oh, sorry, it's not tight. So tighten it. It'll move like, a, it'll kind of do a pivot. And so that's cool and everything, but you don't see me always pivoted. I mean, the first original dog up stand didn't have that. So when I was grooming Cookie, if she brings Cookie, I don't know if she's going to bring Cookie or not. Cookie used to be on the dog up stand banner here, but I put her in front now. So she was the first dog up stand model, if you want to say. And she's a real dark cocoa color schnauzer, and you've seen me groom her. It would take almost two hours to groom her. Not because she was aggressive, but because she would whimper, whine, talk, and run around on the table so much. So there's a few things I did different with her. I don't know that she's bringing Cookie. I'm just talking about her because she has three schnauzers. Read the description of the videos. I'm going to try my best to kind of give you guys some lowdowns each time I do a video now. And then I still have to go back to the over 1,000 videos I have and really kind of clean up the description boxes. I mean, it's been, it's been, I'm busy. I don't have time for this kind of stuff, but it's part of business, right? You got to invest a little bit of time. If you do a little bit of something every day, then you can finish up cleaning up stuff. And um, Cookie would, I decided, hey, every time Cookie would come in, we would try something new. And so one time I said, okay, when you guys arrive, Schnauzer are a different breed, man. They are really nosy. They want to find rats in the backyard. They want to dig up stuff. And that's what they were bred to do. They were bred to kind of look for stuff. And I think they were bred to like, go read. I'm not like the expert on these on these things but I do know a little bit about everything you know how you feel like yeah, I know a little bit about that so schnauzers will dig up like worms and bugs I think they were bred to like dig up something dig up uh, something go look go, go do your research so that's what they like to do right so she cookie would run the fence and just be wild okay and she has three schnauzers so cookies a little different so when they would arrive they're all high maintenance high like not high maintenance high energy like oh my gosh and so Cookie would come in just whining, like whining the whole time, barking. She wouldn't nip. She wouldn't be aggressive. She was just a, a racehorse on the table. If they could do that whole brisk walk thing, it would be a whole lot better. But it's just probably not going to happen. If you knew my clients, you would know like, oh, yeah, you know, it's not going to happen. It is what it is. So when I, who did you bring, Mom? Cookie. She brought cookie. She brought cookie. Are you? I brought her in. Do you want me to go out there and get her? Do you think we're good? No, she's in. Okay, great. I mean, it's time for a try. That sounds. That sounds good. And she's already fighting, so she's jumping on the table there. All right, cookie, come on. If I go pick up the food, you have some place to put it. Um, you can either put it right outside, or it can go around to the back to the dumpster. It's either or. If you don't want to walk back there, we'll take it for you. I'll do it. Okay, uh, no problem. Okay, now. Cookie's okay. here. Uh, like you cut Lily, just yes. leave the eyebrows. Okay. Everything else. Leave the eyebrows. Yeah, just yeah everything else summer cut. Everything else down to the, not the skin, but you okay. know what I'm saying. Okay. Got it. All right. Same as Lily. Right? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. I am trying not to cause any excitement for Cookie because. Okay, I'm, I'm um, going to, I'm going to. I'll be outside, okay? Okie dokie. Okay, good. So one of the things that we used to do with cookies, I would go out and get her out of the car. And it, for that, for some reason, that really worked. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it really worked. So mom and dad, dad has passed away. Mom and dad would wait outside in the car. 
and read a book, have a smoke of cigarettes, a lot, <laughs> and, like a lot. <laughs> That's their routine. So I invented the dog up stand really for her because she, after using the dog up stand, her grooms went from two hours to one hour, like down to 45 minutes if I worked quickly. It was amazing. So they've been, she's been going through, you know, just, um, she's been going through life. Life happens, doesn't it? And you never know what's going to happen. And if you read the description, you'll see me say, you never know what life is going to bring. So take advantage of it and don't take it for granted. I mean, that made no sense, but live your life and don't take it for granted. Okay. So we're going to do, it's been a minute. She uh, canceled a, a mobile and so her dogs are overdue and there's little tangles happening here. I can feel them. You can't see them, but you could see them if you use, if you used a comb, you can see that this is, this is tangled up here. And uh, we are going to do a seven or 10 all over. That's what we did on her other dog, her other schnauzer last week. If you guys saw that, raise your hand. Say, I saw that girl. So now mom walked her in today. So I, I looked at her, I said, are you sure we're good? So we'll see how she does, right? I'm going to make sure what we did on Lily. So let me look at the card real fast. Yep, we did a 10 all over, seven chin, shave down. We always dremel the nails because of the parents' age. It helps not to, uh, it helps their skin and leave uh, some eyebrows. Okay, so 10 all over, seven chin. That's what we did. So I'm gonna do a 10 all over. Here we go. I'm using my Andis five speed. Please pick them up with me at myfavoritegroomer.com. We order straight from Andis. And I'm using a tin blade. I'm using either an ultra edge or a ceramic because I'm gonna go through about six tin blades while I groom. And uh, you want to have your sanitary coolant or whatever you want to call it, disinfectant. And I guess I'm not going to do a, a before picture. We took all this off on all the dogs. Okay, great. Let's do this. Let me see. When I put that dog up stand under her, boy, those grooms changed. They just all changed. It was amazing. So I'm going to do what I need to do while she's just kind of sitting here. And you can do what you like to do in your groom salon, but her, the pet parent is telling me she just said it and reiterated everything off except for the eyebrows. She really needs a low maintenance situation because of her scenario, her home life right now, trying to get on track. And then we see them about every three months. You do short haircutting, you can kind of come in about every three months. You know that, right? <clears throat> funny that I was talking about Cookie. Guess who came in? Cookie. Okay, hold on here. Some dogs that are moving around a lot, you want to move quickly. You don't want to be sitting here messing around. So get to work, Dee Dee. Just a rough and I'm gonna get all this hair off because I'm not gonna want it afterwards. We want to shave her down, right? So get all this hair off now and then we're gonna go through it again one more time anyway. She's got a lot of little tiny knots underneath her hair here. I can feel them as I touch underneath. This will really help clean all this out back here. What's up, girl? Okay, let me see. Okay, let me hold on. I like if I can, if the dog is cooperating, I like to get it right in the trash. You know what I mean? It just, if you, you know, I used to bartend and like I didn't understand why people would like 
open a beer bottle and just throw it on the ground so they can spend like three hours cleaning it up after the end of the night. I'm really one to keep kind of keep as tidy as I can if possible. Why make it harder for yourself to clean? I used to work with people that would groom and just throw it all over the floor and then you have to do double work to clean it later. Why can't you just kind of keep it, keep it up as you go? It's already here. The trash is already here. You know what I mean? Just a little tiny effort uh, to get it kind of in the trash to eliminate just having to clean up for an hour. That's people's work like that though. They would rather create mess so they clean up. Well, I, are, aren't you that kind of same way? <laughs> are you the same way? Yeah, I won't tell anybody. Don't worry. What did you just say? Mm -hmm. Cookie. Mm -hmm. Kelly. Thank you so much for some donations. That's the reason why I am here is because you are supporting me. If you love watching my show and you want me to come on more, that's what keeps us alive. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kelly. She liked the description of the video. Awesome. I'm going to start trying to do that. And I don't know if I can make it. I'm not 100%, man. I've got so much work. You guys have no idea. There's so much work I'm doing for one person. And... It's really hard, you know. I work here really, really late. I work longer than anyone else that helps with my favorite groomer. So it's it's a lot. It, there's a lot going on behind the scene. Can I just get a crew? I need a crew of people. A crew of people. One person doing editing. One person taking phone calls. One person grooming. One person, you know what I mean? Answering text messages. One person answering Facebook. One person answering Instagram. One person answering... One person packaging. That's we're, I'm doing like me and David, but uh, me, I'm definitely doing like 17 jobs. It's a lot of work. You guys have no idea. <laughs> Keep going with your Tim Blade as we chit chat. Okay, so your donations anyway go a long way. Thank you so much. So she's sitting down. I'm going as, uh, quickly down her back. She doesn't need to stand at this point. I will need her to stand in a minute, but I'm going down, you know, through this like this. She's going up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm going to get this stand in there. It doesn't need to lift her up or anything. It just needs to help her understand that I need her to stand up and there, there is an object in a way. And if she goes to sit, it's in the way. She's going to be reminded to stay stood up. So I can keep moving, right? So I can use both my hands to keep moving. You use one hand to stretch the skin, move it around, move your product, flip over your cord, grab this broom. I mean, you use both hands while grooming. You really lose a lot when you're holding the dog up the whole time to do uh, some grooming. You really lose a lot of time. I bet you never realize how much time uh, we waste until you start watching our videos, right? I'm all about like that. Every minute counts. You could be doing something completely different if you just look at the time that you're spending doing what you're doing, if you're wasting any time. So the client that just left, uh, I didn't show her because um, she's not feeling really well. The pet client, her name is Sadie. She's an amazing dog. She recently had ACL surgery on her left leg. This is the client that just left. And notice how she keeps sitting down, right? Okay, I'm on to my third 10 blade, okay? It's that these things are gonna get hot and it's up to you to have enough to go around, like the time-wise. Okay, now she's sitting, I'm doing her chest, so this will be all good and dandy here. See where we're at here. I need a crew. <laughs> Who wants to be in the crew? Callie wants to be in the crew. Thanks, Callie. Okay. Remember, ten all over, seven chin, Dee Dee. Okay, here we go. Ten down. We'll come back afterwards. The hair is pretty dirty. I can feel it, and we were past due, so we're about a month past due, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe three weeks. You know what I mean? So once we get her bathed. The hair, even though as short as it is, will be clean. Look at that. She has this in, she has this in there. This is schnauzer proof, okay? 
running around in the grass, digging up stuff. And then when you got a team of schnauzers at your house, they work together. You guys, who has schnauzers out there that they know, you know what I'm talking about, use the emoji. If you know what I'm talking about, use the My Favorite Groomer emoji, go. This is the only dog I'm gonna groom live for you right now, so as soon as we're done, we're out of here. Make sure you say what you wanna say, ask what you wanna ask. Support us right now. Don't wait till tomorrow, support us today. Okay, uh, let me see here. And I am taking the trash out today. That hair is full, isn't it? Okay, I know, right? So we're gonna come and do a seven. Sever the 10, 10 head here. Now's your head. Keel, are you out there? Sheila, are you out there? Connie Sermon, are you out there? <laughs> My favorite people, are you out there? Melissa P, are you out there? Woo -hoo, Melissa P. Super fan, are you out there? Super fan are a huge contributors. Love us. They're powwowing for us. They save the day when you, they need uh, donations put. Those are super fans. Super fans, I have their home address programmed in my phone so that if I'm on the road and I want to send them something, I send them something. Huh? Musta P is there. Musta P is there. Woo hoo. I gotta scroll down here. New member, Barbie Babe. Yeah. Welcome, new member. Member means they're paying on a member fee with YouTube. Part of that goes to YouTube, part of it goes to us. Supports the channel. Shows YouTube that you love our channel and you're here supporting it that's what it shows youtube youtube created that for creators like us i love the super fans though arturo are you out there <laughs> i'm having fun with this out there thing i feel like i'm at a concert A lot of hair here in the ears. You want to be careful of that flap in there, though. There's a secret flap in there. You can almost put a little dime in there and sit it there. Right? Yeah. You can almost put a little dime in there. You see? I know it. You got to give me this ear, though. No. They want some of your heart stickers. You have to make some. Heart stickers? You got it. We're making stickers for you. I spend my time in makeup and none of you guys buy them. I'm going to be upset. That's all you I'm hear that? If, if he, he does, he has to sit there and make it. It takes about an hour. Then we got to print them, pay for the printing. Then we got to wait for them to get mailed to us. And by the way, things mailed in the United States, and, or excuse me, things made in the United States take a lot longer to receive. You would only know that if you're making something in the United States. It is. Why? One day it's all going to come back to our to the house. One day it's all going to come back home. And remember um, the war stories when everything was made in the United States, the bullets and everything. Well, things have changed, but I feel like it's going to hit a reverse here real soon. And then we're going to actually find out how much, uh, how many people we don't have that have that knowledge still. They're all gone. We have a lot of rude awakenings happening. I think. What do you guys do? You agree? Angela Bryce, are you out there? Woohoo! Thank you, Angela Bryce. Okay, Dee Dee, you had a groom here. Okay, here it is. Angela Bryce, I am loving our hand soap. I have one. I have one here at the salon, two at home. They're all open and ready for use. I've been using them. I'm really impressed. I love the smell, and thank you so much for making me feel so special. And I was gonna reach out, but I'm sorry I didn't, but I thought about you all day Friday. She said she was gonna come visit me. But since I know she needs a new lung and she could only come down for the day, I felt really sorry for her. And I told her, are you sure you wanna come or can you wait a couple months and David and I will make a trip to you? You know, it's not about, I just, 
If she were to get an option to have a lung and she had to drive hours to get, uh, no, you can't do that, man. You can't do it. I want you, the lung comes first. Angela McGee, are you out there? <laughs> I have serious relationships with you guys. Diane, are you out there? Donna, are you out there? I could just say Angela, and there's about 50 Angelas in my life right now. You know why? Because I'm surrounded by angels. I truly believe that. You guys are all my angels. And don't think I haven't forgotten all you haters out there. Don't worry, I have a special place in my heart for you. Got some knots in there, so I'm taking care of those real quick first. We'll go back to this paw here. Still on my 10. I think I'm on the fourth 10 blade right now. So we'll just sit down, man. Where's the dog upstairs when you need it? Okay, now we're going to come back over here, come up to the face. We're going to get that seven blade out. We're going to do all the face and the chin and the mustache and all that with the seven blade. She's doing pretty good, right? She's a good dog, man. Okay. I think they want pink ones. Um, I know they want pink ones, Donna. Okay, I know you don't like it, so I better go quick, right? Watch your ear. Come in, watch that ear. Can you guys see here? Let me scoot over. This is per request of the pet parent. If you are not the pet parent, you can withhold your judgment. Up, up, up. Come here, Cookie. This is new, isn't it? Let me see. She said, start everybody over. It's getting out of hand. I got the seven right now. I'm just going to hit it with reverse a little bit. You come in reverse, it goes straight into the clipper real easy. She's not liking that at all. Hop, 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 hop. We've never done this before. That's why. Kind of tap it up. Rubbing her head, kind of tapping it softly. Give her some loving right here. Give her a little support. Okay. okay. All right, now let's come in with our 10 blade, go back. Okay, get a nice cool 10 blade. Happen, oh, there, see all these are pretty warm. That's one, then we got a 40. This one's cool. Okay. You don't want to come over here to the camera? Come over here to the camera. Come here. Come here. There you go. Stay there, Cookie. I'm going to go ahead and take this down. You okay. Get all that out of her mouth there. We're going to come back to it. I know you don't love it right here. Look at all this. Look at all that in your mouth. I know you don't love it. I see her. Would you want all this in your mouth or out of your mouth? Shh. In your mouth or out of your mouth? Want to suck on your own hair or no? Let me see. Oh, you're missing all your front teeth because they've been pulled. You're so welcome, Dreamweaver. Thank you for your support. Okay, I'm holding the muzzle pretty tight here. May not look like it, but I want her to be safe with her tongue, you know? Remember, we're going to come back later, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just go ahead and get what you can out of here. I know, don't lick. Yeah, don't lick because people really want to see me mess up and we can't, we can't do that. Oh, 
Okay, let's see here. Let's get our shaper brush. We talk about it a lot. Whoop, whoop. Bring this forward here. Now I'm not, I used to be, and I used to still not good at it. I'm not really good at schnauzer eyebrows. But there's not, huh? Yes, you are. Nah, I don't think so. But I'm fast now at them. Just get it done, get it over with. It is what it is. Some curl up, some don't. You know what I mean? You're the best. No, I'm not the best. You're the pro. I'm not the pro. I'm very humble, and I'm not over here trying to be something I'm not. Okay? Maybe you are that something. <laughs> Maybe so, but I'll let God tell me. So, steady, steady. 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 I can hear it now. You call those eyebrows. Steady, you're a god. Stop. Steady. Can I see? Cookie. Cookie. Come here, cookie. Yeah. Don't move. Don't move. Let me take those eyelashes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now let's work over here. Work over here. <laughs> okay. What, well, Kathleen Durr, are you out there? Woohoo, Kathleen Durr. We are gonna get that washer and dryer, aren't we? Boy, Kathleen sent me some money order. I was like, what is she doing? I, I wrote her, I said, you know you don't have to do this. What are you doing? She said, Dee Dee, I don't have kids of my own, and what I wanna do is invest in you. And that really tore my heart up. Man, sometimes your family is not blood. You feel me? Sometimes your family is someone you never knew you were going to meet. And then when, they, when they're in your life, you are so blessed. So thank you so much for you guys being out there. So here I need to come in more. This is a hard angle, man. So you can kind of bring, you can kind of come in this way and do this too. Turn your, turn your curves around. And if you're learning from me, be sure to share that. Give credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? That, that, don't do it. I can see what you're wanting to do here. And then you come up, like I come up, flare it up. I'm oh, sorry. You're gonna come up and flare it up, you know, and then take a look at everything from the upside. And there's some groomers out there that really know how to do eyebrows really well. More power to you. Just uh, when I was looking at YouTube for eyebrow help, it was not out there. Still isn't probably. I was like, that's not going to work. I had one guy using a guard. I was like, I'm not going to, I can't do that. I don't know what he's doing. This was like, I don't know, seven years ago now. This one lady worked for me. Unfortunately, she nicked a lot of dogs, so she doesn't work for me anymore. Costing me a lot of money. And she was a contractor, and this was years ago now. I learned my lesson. I thought I learned my lesson. I still have something else I'm going through right now. But with people. So she did eyebrows so good though. And I tried to learn from her and I just did not des des dedicate the time to learn from her. And I should have managed. Her eyebrows are on point. She did this something, something. She shaved the whole bottom of the eye. She shaved the whole bottom of the eye and then shaved the inside there like a, with scissors or a 40. And I just could not get it, man. It was, I could not get it to where I felt comfortable with the sharp scissors up in their eyeball. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, I was like, oh gosh, this is, this is really close to their eye. And I just felt uncomfortable. So it wasn't something I could do, but she really knew how to do eyebrows. I give her that. I don't know if she's still grooming. I have, I have seen she's still out there. I don't know if she's still grooming. She used to do some training and stuff like that with some big dogs. She might still be doing that. So here we're gonna come, she's watching everything. So here you can take your, uh, she's got a lot of eye boogers too, look at this. Look at that. Eww. It's so thick it just flew right off, okay. Okay, here you can take your thinning shears if you want to. You know, I don't use those very often. 
you get to a point where you learn how to use scissors and you could do what you need to do with scissors. You want to use thinning shears, more power to you, but you don't have to, okay? You will feel a little safer, but if your thinning shears are um, dragging hair and not cutting real all the way, then they're, then they're not sharp. So that's painful. I, do, I have people use thinning shears on my head and I'm like, girl, you need to sharpen those because they're pulling my hair. It does hurt. So make sure they're sharp. And I would say if you're using them on uh, six, seven dogs a day, you probably need to sharpen those probably in like a few months or six months. But if you're doing just one dog, you probably sharpen them once a year. You know what I mean? So right now I'm coming down, down this way. She's a little top heavy. Meaning like it just has to be a little bit more even. So come in here and do your 10 blade. And you'll, you'll, I'll make that. You'll figure it out. You know what I mean? People are like, oh, it is heavy up there. So that means there's more brow to, to work with. So you want to clean that up, fix it up. But you don't want to shave too much at one time, right? You want to play with it. This is being an artist, people. Okay, let's go to the bath. We're going to, like, I have this thing. Like, don't spend too much time on it. Move on and come back to it. Don't sit there and do it for an hour. Move on, come back. It'll still be there. If it's still, if it's there and it needs help, it'll still be there. Thanks, Kaylin. I appreciate you. That's true. If anybody wants to show their love and support for YouTube and my favorite groomer, you can become a member. Just close the super chat button and say, it says join now. And that's how you become a member. It's like a monthly thing. And then read the description of all the videos and you can find out more information about how to support us and what we do and where we do it and stuff like that. And what a little bit I'm starting now about the animals that we groom. Got some, some matted, matted pads. Trish Lake, thank you so much. Woohoo! says uh miss led would you would you be interested in trying to do eyebrows at home and then because you have the most time with your animal right you could try a couple this and that and see if you can get the eyebrow exactly where you want it and then just keep it there yourself so when you take your pet in for grooming you say i have i have what is it called expert i have create i have what is it you would tell your groomer, I have become an expert at doing my dog's eyebrows. Do not touch them. And so your eyebrows are done by you and you really spent some time working the eyebrow to where you just love it. And, you know, you might make some mistakes on the way, you know, but you get to see your pet every day. So you can kind of do a little this and that and then see how it works out the next day, how it lays out. And then you can go, okay, that's too long still. And that's too long. It take, slowly take little by little off and shape those eyebrows. You know what I mean? And then you, you tell your groomer, I'd love to train you how to do, it's $50 for the class. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's $50. And you go to the groomer and be like, look, girl, I figured out how to do eyebrows. And I, I, I didn't take a before picture too. be like, these are your eyebrows. And look, it took me six months to become an expert on my dog's eyebrows. And now I'm going to, I'm going to do a $10, $50 class. <laughs> I would totally take the class. I'd be like, yeah, man, bring your dog up here. We'll do it together. And I'll pay you 50 bucks. Matter of fact, I'll give you a free groom, right? Girl. All of a sudden, you start having these uh, worldwide eyebrow classes for 50 bucks a pop. There you go. There's your retirement. And a reason to travel. You know, I'll see you in Australia. That's why I don't understand, like, if you got some people that hate what you do, why are you here? There's so much to be ha happening. You could create so much for yourself. Why are you wasting your time with me? Unless you could want to come work with me, then quit hating and just get on my team already. Quit that. Be like, you know what? That's the truth, man. Why can't I just go work with her? What's the problem? What is the problem? Maybe you have to think of it like, you like it so much you hate it. You have to overcome some of your hatred, man. 
because I didn't start nothing. It ain't already started. I'm just one of the first ones, if not the first one, doing live grooming on YouTube. You know what I mean? If you don't like it, there's a thousand, there's millions of groomers out there. I have to look that up. There may be one million out there, right? I wonder what the stats are on that. How many groomers are there in the entire world? People always got to have something to say about something. That to me tells me they do not have enough to do. Because I don't have time to mess around, man. I got stuff. I'm, I've got stuff I'm working on. Don't forget we need to come back and dribble these, okay? Okay? I know you don't want to get it. Look at you just getting away with it. Come here. Stay. Cookie. Stay. I need to look first before I can get in there, so just bear with me here. I know it. Okay. Okay. This is not even the Dremel part, girlfriend. No, no. I will change it up. If this doesn't work, I'm going to change it up, okay? So let me get in there one last time here. We still have to come back and Dremel anyway. See? Thank you. Sit down if you like. 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 Second ago, you were sitting down left and right, sweetie. Now I just don't know what to think. Melissa P, there's over 100,000 groomers in the U.S. Wow, the thank you, Melissa P. That's a lot of groomers, right? Don't look at me like that. No, no. I can feel that you're bucking up. Hey, don't. Let me just take a good look. But don't act like you're trying to look at something to smell something. I know what you're trying to do. Fool me. So smart, man. Do you see her change the subject? She started smelling the air. Nothing happened. I know you're trying to change the subject and everything. Okay, we're going to go rinse off. We'll be right back. I guess I'll take you. I guess I'll take you guys back here with me. What do you guys see in here? All right, we're in Fort Worth, Texas. Be sure to shout out. <laughs> if you guys post a picture on your Instagram or your Facebook or something like that, let me know about it by putting the pound sign, my favorite groomer, right next to the picture and stuff like that. It would be really, it's really cool to see you guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Cookie. Hi. Hi, Cookie. Hi. Yeah. You want me to pick you up out of there? You want me to save you? You want me to save you? Is that what you want? Okay, don't get too excited now. Okay, here we go. Let's get this bath on, huh? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go, girl? Schnauzers, man, they love jumping up and down. Let me see your paw. Can I see? Let me see. Thank you. Let me see your other one. Yeah. Let me get it warm first. I get the warm water, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Down on the ear here. Stop pulling, sweetie. Down on the ears here. Some shampoo, get some conditioner, pet silk. We'll do the pet silk rainforest, okay? Ooh, it smells so delicious. Go ahead and shake one more time if you want. Are you gonna shake now? Are you gonna shake? I feel it coming. Get 
smell the cigarette smell so we try our best but I told you it was coming I did so I'll put this on here it's real strong I don't know that I could say if I was a full-time smoker because I smoked a very long time ago in the military it was like the common thing to do everybody smoked a cigarette everyone smoked some Marlboro and I realized I was like I can't do this man it's affecting my body and so I can't say I think I know the answer if the smoke definitely affects our animals and I believe it surely does But, uh, and I honestly can't say whether the pet parent as a full-time smoker can even smell it, you know what I mean, on the dog. I can't tell you. I don't know. Because I haven't had a cigarette in 20 years, 30 years. Somewhere in there. I can't really tell you the exact date. I'm not going to lie, but many years. But I think that the pet parent can definitely smell how clean she smells when she goes home. I know that's true. What are you doing? Mm, are you moving around and stuff? Oh, don't you love the nozzle? You gotta get it on our website, man. This is the best. Just imagine if I was holding it tight the whole time, which I'm not. It's so cool. I get to keep on going. I don't have to stop and rest my hand. Huh? I was gonna say something about the nozzle. <laughs> Little do they know. This is the best nozzle, you guys. <laughs> Make sure you pay for it through us. <laughs> it's an inside joke. You'll find out soon, soon enough. You'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna do a whole video on it. Yep. Just wait. It's gonna be it's an inside joke. So my super fans, just keep an eye. We're gonna talk about a nozzle here pretty soon. I don't think I've had my trash that full in a long time, man. Okay, I guess I should have blow-dried Say again? I'm gonna get that nozzle, Caden says. Do it! 
Girl, do it! Can we get a heart tag you sell engraved with our dog's info? Yes. Yes. It's really inexpensive too, you guys. It's at myfavoritegroomer.com under leashes and collars. We got a new member, Didi. And What's what I would do is I would um, go order it the size you want and then say in the notes at the checkout, the notes section, say, Dee, Dee call me so we can talk about the... the uh, it's uncomfortably bright. <laughs> we can talk about the design because it comes in a bunch of designs and I really want you to pick out the one that I feel like would be your favorite. Okay, I'll be right back. We got a new member. Thanks for becoming a member. Be sure to turn on notifications and be active in the community post. God, we had to blow dry her, you guys. I quit, man. All these wires. Just quit. Oh, just quit. Look at this mess. This is ridiculousness. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> wires. Okay, get your goggles on, make sure you have a face mask. If you're doing the lawn right now and you don't have a face mask, get a face mask. need a dryer call me that's dryer it's awesome it's worth it they don't even have that dryer anymore they have one very much like it but that dryer it took me like six years to buy I mean it's a $400 dryer but you can see it's very strong it will it's a high velocity and it is awesome it is gonna help me get my job done faster okay here we go this is the wrap up you guys
me give you a number. Man, time just flies, doesn't it? This is ready if you want to go run outside and do your thing. I still have uh, 15 minutes till finish though. These two are side by side and it's at 8%. Okay, let's go get our doggy. Angie's writing me something right now. Okay, come on, Cookie. Oh, up. Oh, good girl. I know it. I know it. All right, we're wrapping it up. This is the wrap up. Hey, hey, cookie, 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 we're not done yet, okay? Okay, we still have to do this, okay? We still have to wrap it up, okay? I know you got excited on it, okay? But we need to, we need to regroup, okay? We regroup, okay? <laughs> Can you guys see everything? Here we go. Oh, cooking or something else. I just love you. I just love you. I know I'm getting so excited because I'm trying to do all this huggy dub with stuff. Now, now hold on. Now hold on, man. Face front. Got a burp. Who are you burping? I know you don't like it. I know you don't like it. Go this way. You keep turning around. Okay, I have an idea. Come here. We're gonna turn you completely that way, okay? Because that's, that, if they wanna do what they wanna do, work with them. It's like, work with me, Dee Dee. Okay? She wants to face that way, let's, let's let her face that way. So. Now you should be able to stay sideways for me. Remember we talked about that? Sometimes you have that opportunity. It's looking right at your face. And you can fight it or you can go with the flow. Now, that's the edge of the table. That's not the flow. Dean, are you out there? I know Dean doesn't ride me, but her daughter does. Pat, are you out there?
Yvonne, are you out there? Woohoo! I'm gonna start doing that, man. All these people are on my mind. Janishka, are you out there? I know they're out there. Janishka's out there. She's always out there. She just works a lot. And I'll be like, Puerto Rico, are you out there? <laughs> Germany, are you out there? <laughs> Only 79 likes. You guys are fired, man. You know I'll totally drop the feed, right? Might piss some people off, but y'all super fans know, man. It's so easy to hit the like button. That means, hey, but by the way, that potentially could mean that, that that's how many haters are out there. Like, let's not discount it here. Maybe we have a whole Facebook hater page just all watching my show. All increasing the ratings. Yeah. Let's do this together. What's really, uh, what's really crazy is like, you know, you know, it takes a lot out of somebody, right, to just hate something, but they're so addicted they can't not watch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you guys that don't like what I do, all of you guys help me grow. All, it all goes around in one big circle, and I really appreciate you. Thank you for sharing my video amongst your own community and talking about it. It really helps me, it helps me grow. And I have learned how to deal with that kind of person. So thank you for that. Without you, we wouldn't be here doing what we do. I wouldn't trust my back with you, but I do know that if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be here. Include some of those sharing out there. Any kind of sharing, good sharing and bad. But at the end of the day, you know, God's watching us all. And he's going to be the one you talk to at the end. Not me. Not the dog. Come on, Cookie. Some little minor stuff here. You don't have to answer to me later. You have to answer to God. I know you don't want me to touch that arm. Let's do this. I'm going to trick you a little bit. I'm going to hold up your other arm. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Are you wagging your tail? <laughs> Let me see. You gotta stand up. Can't get the tail? Here's a trick. Watch this. You hold your arm up and lift the tail with your fingers. We'll be able to get it like that. You go up here. Come in for some random flary stuff. Okay, come back down. Let me see here. Don't look at me like that. Don't do it. A little mat in between her toe there. Okay. She's looking at you guys. It doesn't matter if you know the dog for years. If there's pain involved and there's a mat, they will bite your ass. And you'll be like, oh, I know you were just letting me know, but that gummit. I wish there was a warning sign, and there's not. You want to sit, but I know you're going to stand. Yep. It's okay. Very good. Okay. Oh, she's really putting the work over here, huh? Woo! Seven blade now? Okay, get your shaper brush, which all it does is move the hair around for you. Let me see here. Come in. You know, she's kind of making this hard right here, right? Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Don't. Don't. Let me see. Okay, let me see this one. Good girl. Oh, don't do that. Look up. Let me see between your toes. Don't get upset. Okay, let me see this one between your toes. Okay, good girl. I like it. Yeah. It's really quiet out there. Smash the like button. We got like 10 minutes left. Smash the like button. Hit the share. It always helps the channel that you love grow. So that's why we always mention it. Don't get upset. Come in between the toes here. Watch my forehead. Watch my forehead. I'm talking to myself at this point, aren't I? Okay, let's look at the eyebrows one last time here. Oh, we gotta do the front of the face too, don't we? Let's go this way. flip those curve shears of every which way you just got to get used to holding them and how it feels until you feel comfortable you know what I mean okay I'm gonna get my tin blade Let me capture this one here like this it's thicker than the other one so you kind of look at everything together you see over here Then I'm going to go, this is my way. You can do your own thing, man. If you're better at it, great. Good for you. It's on you, man. This is a great place to use. I always talk about this. I should have a straight pair of shears right here. This is a great place to use your straights. They come in. Clean this out lightly with the 10. Because we're really going to come back with a 7 there anyway. So get your 7 blade. down seven blade here we did the tin so go reverse there if you need to blend a little bit bring it down bring it down right there it's real dark that means it's having saliva build up so we're going to just take that in just edge it up with the reverse All right It looks easy, it's not easy. Practice makes perfect. If you don't know what you're doing, get training. It's like, girl, you were just giving me kisses. Come on, we got this. Let me see, look up. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Good girl. Come down right there. Let me see. I know you don't like it, man. I, I know. Let me just try to get in there again one more time and just look. Can you let me just look? Let me just look at it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Now that we got this nice and even. Thank you so much, Barbie. Just love you too. Now, let's look at all this macho mefo jeffo. Okay, let me see here. I like doing this up thing. I can really see then kind of what we're looking at. You know, get them up there. Uh, it's not for everybody. See, I see a little thickness here.
just pull it off the eye a little bit. And then on the back a little bit there. So there's not like a shadow. Yeah. Got a little piece sticking out here. Oh yeah. Come on, some little bit of definitely just some sh difference in shading, so that thickness is a little off there. Cause she didn't like that seven blade all up in her face, right? You can do the thinning shears here if you have them. I have them. I don't like. I said I don't really use them. You can. Why not? Or don't because you're eight and a half. Okay. Now let's take a look at them ears. Okay. Let's get you guys over here so you can kind of. Always having some cord difficulties. It's always, always, always. Okay, so here, this is the perfect time for me to show you. Hey, you don't need to have the hemostats every time. She wants to smell. Okay, may I have your permission? Okay, just a tad bit of ear powder here. Not a lot. And just what's in the ear canal. Let me see. She wants to be feisty. Let's get the muzzle. Does that feel funky? Yeah, I know you don't like it. So some people are like, it's not painful to pull ear hair. Nope, I believe it is. It's just every dog's going to react differently, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, you don't let me do that today? Hmm? Then let me just use my hair. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. I know, you don't like it. Let me just get a little bit here. I know. Let me just use my fingertips, you know. Sometimes it's dangerous to try to get that hemostat. Don't worry about it. Just use your fingertips. You need just a little bit of that powder, though, to get a grip. Look at all that. You can't skip it. Three months from now, it'll be worse. Let me see. Are you holding my hand? Okay. Okay. You smell? Smell. Now, what really? I know. This is your stuff. Okay? All right. Let's do the other side. We need to get done, girl. For real. This is taking too long. Come here. Let's get on this side. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Okay, a little bit more. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I know you don't want me to do it. Can I look at one more time? Just one more time? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's clean them now. Let's clean them now. I know what you I know. Good girl. Who put that in there? Let's take that off. Powder. It's on my website too. Steady as you are. Get ourselves a cotton ball, okay? Smell? Yeah. Don't lick it, man. Don't lick the cotton ball. Don't lick it. Just smell. Smell. We'll do ear cleaner. Just some basic ear cleaner, right? Okay, come here. We'll get that in there. Clean their hair. Just kind of scoop it. A little bit dirty. <laughs> you know I'm cleaning your ear. You know it. I know you know it. Does, I know, right? Snouzers really love to smell everything. Some dogs really do. You just look at the, what they're trying to do. They're trying to tell you, like, can I get, can you just show me what you're doing? Just please. Just tell me what you're going to do before you do it. Please. I mean, it's my body, isn't it? Okay. That's how I am when it comes to, uh, getting a shot or drawing blood. I'm like, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna look away, but please walk me through you taking my blood. When you come up at my arm, just please tell me you're there. <laughs> and just say when you go in. So funny. 
We're all just different, unique individuals, including pets. Okay, David, you want to go close her out? I'm about like two minutes. I'm going to walk her out of there. <laughs> okay, I don't need your help, David. I can do it. Okay, so let's sweep this off. No, it's okay. I don't need you to do it. I got it, David. I got this, David. I got this. I'm doing multiple things at once. Uh, so am I. Right? I'm doing multiple things too, aren't I? Ten jobs at once. Hey, put your foot on there. Don't do that. Oh my goodness, ten, man. Ten jobs uh. at once. Sophie? What, Sophie? What? what? <laughs> Who out there? <laughs> We're ready to go. Go. He's going to make my dog hyper over here. Once she gets to it's going to get all wild on me. Oh, oh, I gotta dremel your nails in. Stop! You guys have no idea, man. You have no idea what I have to work with over here. Gosh, you guys. Is the photo on here? It's a new total. Thanks, Barbie. Make sure you got that mask on. Something. You need something. Where do you think all this dust is going? Where do you think this dust has been? Battery dying fast, isn't it? This sucker's gone. Okay, so we're going to see if this one's ready to go. Is better for the nail grinding than she did for the nail trim. What do you think? Tut, tut, tut. Tut, tut, tut. Don't. Over here. Get down. No. No. This is dangerous. Of, uh, nail grinders that I just used. I'm glad I had a spare. I've learned over the years it's good to have two of everything. Right? So let's double check uh, one more thing here on your face as your hair keeps moving and fix anything you need to fix before she leaves. Come in this way. Very good. Okay, get your clone out. So Dremel, nails, ears, clean, blah, blah, blah. But go all through all these steps in your head. Got saliva on my arm. <laughs> Got saliva on my arm from you. Steady, steady as you are. We'll do this, we'll do this one and then we're gonna get you. Let's see if you'll be stabilized from here. Steady. Very good. I'll remove this one. She is the original dog up stand model dog. Without that dog up stand, we would not be here today. It would be a totally different ball game. Okay. This is why we don't do harnesses. They're so hard to figure out. Everyone is made differently. But 
it's here it's on and we are out of here so let me go double check here yeah okay, hold on here I'll fix some stuff up here
Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, go subscribe to our gaming channel up there, Menu Gaming. Uh, I got a video coming for you guys that I've been working on. It's Brownie's first day at the beach. It's going to be on the David and Dee Dee vlogs. So be sure don't miss it. If you're not into gaming and don't want to miss that video, just go subscribe and be on the lookout for Brownie's first day at the beach with Faith Saki. We went to South Padre Island. It's been a while since uh, I said I was going to upload that video, but I've been working on it. Kelly, I hope you're doing good on your chemo. Gosh, I'm this camera. Damn. Thanks, guys, for the donations. I'm hoping we can do something to that level for my favorite rumor conference. You guys, we would set up a conference, but every time we set something up like that, nobody shows up or like. Just people don't do it. The very first aggressive dog grooming that we did live was in Virginia and we hmm, we set it up and I think there's only like five people that showed up. Cause you know duty everything's gonna have to have a price. So you're gonna have to pay for the session. And I guess nobody wants to actually like pay. I guess, I don't know. It's just people don't stick to their word. Like if Didi does like a live aggressive dog grooming course or like aggressive live, live grooming conference where she's grooming an aggressive dog in front of you guys live, uncut, how many of you guys would actually show up? I'm sure right now like about a thousand of you guys would say would show up but then when it really comes down to that date how many of you guys would show up? Maybe like five, ten maybe? Didi, David, please read this chat later. We are like so extremely busy right now. We got a big problem that Didi might talk to you guys later about once it's settled. But um, we got a lot on our hands right now. The more people you get, the cheaper it would be. Of, yep. Let's say, well, I don't know because now the more people that we get like let's say we get like 200 people then we can rent out a conference room with the max amount of people of like 300 just in case you know people bring extra people but then let's say now we get like a thousand people now we have to go rent a place that's max amount of people allowed in that room is like a thousand so it's going to be way more expensive so I guess the smaller it would, the smaller it is, the cheaper it would be. But the bigger it is, the more expensive to rent a place out would be. Cause you just can't rent out like you can't just be like, hey, let's meet up all at Taco Bell and like 500 people go. They're gonna be like, oh, we can't have that much people in this building. We're only allowed 40 something people in this building. You know what I mean? God brought us together to work for this. I wish it was like that, like Go Wild Conference. Woo! What's Go Wild Conference? Oh, Dee's back. I'm sweating up a storm. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. I am so sorry. She said, "Tell them, Dee Dee. Tell them, Dee Dee, that." You have a client that wouldn't let you go. So I said, okay, I will. Because I told her, I'm live in there still, man. So mom is mom's gonna have knee surgery. And it's a full knee replacement. So she was trying to tell me a little bit about, and I was telling her all, what were you gonna say, David? I was talking to him while you were out there. Thank you. Because I know you're busy. Um, so she's gonna have a full knee replacement July 29th. And I've had lots of clients. You guys, as we get older, I've had a handful of female and female clients and male friends that have gotten a knee surgery, knee replacement. And it's really tolling. And to see us go through that, all I can say out there is what I have seen is one, we all need to lose some weight, um, including myself. 
and that will help us as we try to m get through life walking physically walking moving around if you need to start on a bicycle get a bicycle get a bicycle in your living room because I feel like the way we are going you know and this pet parent I don't, I don't see her she wears very baggy clothes but I don't I'm not seeing like an overweight situation I just see as time goes by our body starts to wear on us and if we even have a little bit of that you know chicken fried steak weight on us which I love chicken fried steaks if we have a little bit of that weight on us as we get older then we are likely going to have a knee problem and I have had you know Cynthia Deborah her, her uh, Deborah's going in for a second knee surgery. I think it's on another knee. That uh, two years ago she had knee surgery. I mean, and then Roger, a good friend of mine. I mean, I've seen a lot of knee surgeries, and Roger was, again, like we're not talking about like three, four hundred pounds. We're talking about just like average. You know, what is average? You know, so for me, average is anywhere like if I'm around, you know, say 150, then somebody who is 180, 200, 220, 225, I think maybe that's where it starts to and you sit on that weight you sit between 200 you know average 200 pounds you sit on that weight for uh, 15 years your body starts to deteriorate in your knees is what i have seen and i'm not a doctor and i'm not here to tell you what to do but if i could have told a client or two that has had knee surgery hey girl try to get some of this weight off beforehand and it'll help you in your recovery because it's really hard on the clients I've seen go through and I have gone to the hospital for my clients if you're a groomer and you love your clients if they're in knee surgery go to the hospital <laughs> do what you feel like you would want done to you you know like not that many people make those drastic changes in their schedules to go and just show up somewhere that you have an opportunity to show up at so Deborah wasn't feeling good. I showed up at the hospital for her when she had her knee surgery. Uh, Roger wasn't wasn't doing good, and I didn't show up at the hospital for him because I had no idea what day he had it done. But I did bring him some stuff he needed w late one night. He needed water. He needed some pills. He needed all this. I did. I stopped what I'm doing, and I went and did, running around for him. Just people that you love, you know, that's what it is, is loving your community, loving the people you are surrounded by and what they're going through. We all have our own lives and we all have stress in it and we all have things going on. But what you can invest in people that love you, you know, that have Roger taught me how to dance salsa for for a year. He just took me under his wing and showed me every move. And he let me like go to training with him and, and pay him 20 bucks to just be in his one hundred dollar hour class. He was a great friend and is a great friend. So love those people, you know, be there for them. And if you think you might have to end up having knee surgery, start working on your weight now. Talk to your doctor. You know, I don't want to see you go through some of these things. And I hope that I kind of push it off myself as I did. You stop eating that chicken fried steak, girl, you know? All right, I know this is really personal. One last personal thing is that wrapping it up today, if uh, I feel like telling you, and I don't know why, I just have it on my heart to tell you that if you have done someone wrong, if you have done something wrong, and you know you've done it wrong, go make it right. And I think that you should take the opportunity right now that Didi's saying like, hey, if you've done something wrong, behaved in a wrong way, you didn't do something right, you did something really wrong, go make it right. Because you have the opportunity to make it right before the circle comes around. Because the circle does come around. Life does make a full circle. And by the time it does catch up to you, and whatever, whatever comes up your way, you know, you want to be able to make it right before that circle catches up to you. Do you know what I mean? So if you've done someone wrong, go make it right. And it could have been a long time ago, but go make it right. Even if you don't want to be friends with that person, still go make it right. If you did something wrong, go make it right. All right, I just have to say that because someone did something something wrong to me lately, and I just want you to know, God's watching, and don't don't do something wrong. Don't be wrong. Don't be wrong person. Go make it right. You have the opportunity to make it right. Go make it right. Um, okay, Jennifer, great job losing some weight, and thank you all for being here. Thanks for sharing my life, my story, my work. Thanks for watching me groom Cookie. How did I start talking about Cookie and Mom brings Cookie in? Because I didn't know she has three schnauzers and I wasn't sure which one she was bringing today. And it was Cookie. So we have, we have made some stride. I didn't go get her in the car. That was something I was doing for a long time. I was going out to the car and getting her out of the car, walking her around. And then her and I coming in, going straight to the table and getting to work. And that seemed to really calm her down. 
today mom walked her in and I was like are you sure about this and she goes well we've got to start it at some point and I was like okay and we went straight back but you know in the very beginning of this video if you just got here I didn't turn around and look at the pet parent I kept that I kept her back because I wanted to disconnect the pet from the parent because cookie is very uh, like needy like you know like all that stuff so you really want to just disconnect them which is why I would go get the, her from the car and that really worked okay if you haven't read the description and understand what the client might be going through go read that and then now to find out the client's gonna have knee surgery I have a very soft heart for her our next groom is next week with her third schnauzer and then after that we're gonna do a pickup and delivery for her so cuz we know she's not gonna be able to do that ride and load the dogs and all that stuff so we just discussed that do some things different for clients that need it it really will impact people's lives and I I know you know they won't forget it they may not be able to do much for you but they won't forget what you did for them okay just always try your best and do the right thing just God will get, pay you back twofold just do the right thing okay B try to be better you know what I mean so I offered her that I gave her a, uh, idea of what we could do and she said yes Dee, Dee, that sounds great so we'll pick up all three dogs and we'll do a mobile groom in the sense of bringing them to the salon instead of right in front of her house because there's a lot of stuff going on so this will work out really well I think and we'll just see how she does I said don't worry about that stuff yet get through your rehabilitation first you haven't even started the surgery get through the surgery get through the rehabilitation and then let's worry about the next step so you know to you. now they're wondering <laughs> Someone did something. I gotta tell you guys this. Just wait. Just wait around for it. It'll come up. I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm just gonna let some things unfold first. All right, we love you guys and thank you so much for being here. Be sure you shop with My Favorite Groomer at myfavoritegroomer.com and pick up the Dog Up Sand, which helped Cookie her entire grooming career with me. Uh, get the Dog Up Sand at dogupstand.com. Be sure to comment below. If you have a schnauzer that loves sniffing things out in your backyard, just comment down below. And don't be afraid of what people have to say and do not take it personal. Just brush it off. Callie, I know some people might have been, you were like, what? I can't believe you're attacking me like that. Just brush them off like this because a lot of times you may not see them again. But be aware of those types of people and always know about your surroundings. Okay? Know what you're doing out there in the internet world. Be careful. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your donations. We will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>